I'm Brian Hutchin, and this is Scooter Sense. Did you know that scooter sales are up 20% from 2007 to 2008? Or did you know that they've quadrupled in the last six years? But here's one. Do you know what the number one selling motorcycle in Canada is? It's this little baby right here, the BWS 50 from Yamaha. But what's the difference between a scooter and a motorcycle? Well, there's four main differences. The first difference is that scooters use floorboards rather than foot pegs. So it's step through the scooter and on rather than stepping over the seat like you would on a traditional motorcycle. Now the step through design makes it easier for shorter riders to touch the ground and it also makes it easier for older riders who may have some problems getting their legs up and over the seat. The second difference is that most scooters have fully automatic transmission. Now not all of them do but some of them have gears but most of them have no clutch and no gear shift. Any motorcycle purist will tell you that if it doesn't have a clutch and gears then it's not a real bike. But any scooter purist will tell you that sitting in stop and go traffic or in congested areas, this twist and go throttle is the best thing since sliced bread. Another difference between motorcycles and scooters is wheel size. Now on many scooters, especially the 50cc models, they're very tiny and small and these are good for maneuverability. But with the rise in popularity of maxi scooters, larger wheels are on vogue. They need higher speed and better capability on the road, so the wheels do have to get larger. The last major difference is licensing requirements. Some provinces allow you to drive a 50cc scooter with just your car license, while others you need a full motorcycle license or at least a limited speed vehicle license. Over the next few weeks, I'll show you why riding a scooter makes perfect sense.